This video will take you through the task of creating a component in an assembly. I've already set my working directory, I've opened an assembly file, title at the top create component in an assembly. I've added my first component, I've fixed that in the default position. You can see the default coordinate system in the corner of the component. I now want to create a new component within that assembly. So I click on, I want it to be a part and a solid, and I will call that sliding, no spaces remember, sliding sleeve. I'm going to copy the reference information from the existing component, from the existing assembly join. I just position it approximately to start with, and for placement I'm going to make the front planes linked, the top planes linked, and the right planes linked. Then click on placement, I can see where they're positioned. First one, I want them all to be well, the first two to be coincident, second one coincident, third one also coincident, it's the second one I need to change in this case, it's the, the top planes I want to be slightly offset, I want the offset to be negative 10 millimetres. No move down. I'm happy with that. Click on the accept tick. I go to the sliding, sliding sleeve dot part title there and I activate that part drawing. I can now start creating my part. I'm going to make that with an extrusion. I'm going to place it. On the top plane, I want that construction to be looking up at the bottom of the existing component. So I've clicked on the arrow there to make the point up. I now want to create an entity by offsetting an edge. So I click on that tool. I'm going to loop all the way around the outside of the piece. So I highlight the edge of the piece and click. As you can see now, a nice loop. Arrow is pointing inwards. I want to move out from that area so therefore I can make the distance minus 10 or negative 10. That gives me the basic construction to my sliding sleeve. I'm happy with that. Close. I can then click the done tick in the right hand tool chest. Change the view to trimetric. I can get hold of the grab handle and I can grab that piece up. It's now completely absorbing the original component. What I want it to do is fit around the outside of that. So I'm going to click on Thicken Sketch. Sketch That actually makes it into a sort of thin profile around the outside of the shape. I can give that the thickness that I want. In my case I'm going to make that 3mm. I can check I've got that. It's OK. I can change my view to one of the side views. Get hold of the grab handle take that up, I'm going to make that 200. I'm happy with that now, let's go back to the trimetric view, click accept, apply, go to window, click on assembly file, that is now created, turn off the date and plane, turn off the display so I can see it better, I can now save those parts. I go to sliding sleeve, I can open that file, I can just click on save for that, OK, go back to my assembly with window, click component in assembly, and I can save that as well. Notice I don't need to save it to anything, I just click OK in this case. And that concludes this video.